it's live in front of the YouTube audience on YouTube. It's the Snarky Show with Snarky and Stripey! limitations on freedom of speech, i.e. go to Wikipedia and read the whole article from start to finish. Freedom of speech means that you can criticize our show and we won't necessarily remove their comments. But it also means that we might just criticize you back. Here's an example of some criticism we get when we put our videos out there into the paintball world. Unfortunately, our show isn't always appreciated. So the reaction is, since it's new and different, and because we don't like things that are different, it is Kill it with fire! But our show isn't always hated. Not hated like Gigi Allen. Some people even like our show. Some people find it funny and entertaining. And in our comments section, we routinely get positive feedback. On forums like TechPB, we receive positive feedback too. And even on Facebook, we get recognized and endorsed by people who are famous within the international paintball community. So you can see for yourself based on what we've shown you how polarizing our show is. Of course it depends on what episode you watch too. Some episodes are loved and some episodes are loved. <laughs> Here at the Snarky Show, 
We aim to bring you the truth behind paintball. But like we've said before, truth is not the same as fact. Some dingbats just don't get it. <laughs> so often they criticize the Snarky Show. You have to beat them over the head with a clue by four to make them understand. <laughs> we load up the Snarky Show with subliminal messages. Hidden messages, if you will. Otherwise known as jokes. In fact, and to steal a quote from The Simpsons, we're even including super liminal messages in this video. Those titles that flash by too fast for you to read? That's super liminal messaging. Now I really hate the fact that Stripey butts in a lot of the time on the show as I do. I mean he's not supposed to be here. It's my show. Because he keeps butting in on all the other shows that are done. <laughs> but, I can get over that. Now, like I said, we're always bringing you the truth. Which is why our statements are always truthful. It warms up your gun on a cold day. I have had this happen with me several times. It is a fact. <laughs> Being truthful. We don't like it when other people give you bad advice. There's a lot of people out there that are giving you bad advice. Incorrect ideas. Now because of how we are a different show who bring you the truth, unfortunately, there are some goody two-shoes out there that don't like me. In fact, they shoot at me. Because people shoot a lot at me. You know, I'm a donkey, and people don't like asses, so they shoot a lot at me. Snarky knows that he's an ass. Not just that some people find him annoying, he knows that he's actually a donkey. It stretches over my big ass ass. Okay? However, he uses the term ass to describe other human beings he doesn't like. Like in this clip, where he's a tad unhappy about a certain somebody. Ah! He's an ass. He didn't surrender and he's supposed to surrender. That really pissed me off. Snarky is actually a plagiarist. He routinely steals ideas from other YouTube videographers. I guess that's not so bad in this analog day and age where there are copies upon copies upon copies of things. Look at this video which blatantly rips off a children's television show character. So let's chow down. Or this other clip where he uses the same music and show format of another paintball show. Which ballers don't climb hills? I have never seen you woods baller climb a hill before. I mean seriously. Your typical woods baller is lazy, right? All of them are lazy. 100% of them in the world. They never move. As you just heard, Snarky often speaks in absolutes to make a point. Unfortunately, this sometimes means that he contradicts himself. I've owned dozens of pumps and this is the purest point of view. That auto triggers are not a must have for pump guns. So, uh, how many uh, pump guns have you owned again? No, I've never owned a pump. I, I see, I don't, I've never owned a pump. <laughs> Sometimes, occasionally, we acknowledge the fact that there are other crew, i.e., human beings that are invited in the backstage production of the Snarky Show. Behind the curtain, if you will. Here's a clip where we allow you to see us getting dressed for the show in your very first episode. And here's one where we do something called breaking the fourth wall. 
This is where you destroy established continuity to talk directly to the audience. So, to all you nasty naysayers out there, I only got two questions for you. Question number one. What kind of person takes serious paintball advice from a puppet? And question two. What kind of person criticizes a puppet? Okay, okay, we gotta get the sign. Get the sign! from some naysayers who think it's highly impractical from a logistical point of view. Put a plastic explosive inside your gun with a proximity bomb. <laughs> proximity needs to be electronically linked to your car. When they steal it, it goes kaboom! Hey! Party! Or a financial point of view. Go for it, mate. If you can get an antique sandana for that kind of money, $400, that's a good deal. Stripey even tries to stop me from doing what he thinks is ridiculous. I'm not going to let you do this ridiculous video. But it's my show, you can't stop me. Sadly, it is Snarky's show. That's what it says on the curtain. But to those of you who don't like the show, fear not. I try to bring some sense back to the madness. I try. Have faith, people. Thanks very much for watching episode 20, Hanging a Lampshade on the Snarky Show. I hope you found it entertaining. And contrary to public perception, creating a clip show of old episodes was actually a lot more work than creating a regular episode. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>